Hello everyone, I'm Guy Selga from touringplans.com and today we are in the brand new Villas at Disneyland Hotel Disney Vacation Club Tower at the Disneyland Hotel in Disneyland Resort. I'm really excited to be here and I am going to give you a room tour of a deluxe studio with a preferred view. We'll see the view later and you can tell me if that's preferred. I will show you all the little features and hidden amenities and everything in this room because it's really nice and I think you're really gonna like it. Okay, starting off here at the door, the front door, I really like these do not disturb cards. Nice little design there. Right off when you come in, we got this mural. So the deluxe studios are either themed after Princess and the Frog or Cinderella. My room is themed after Princess and the Frog. So we got the mural that has the color palette that corresponds to that movie. I think this looks really good. I'm gonna spin around here. Why not, let's just look at the bathroom first. So now, I really like the colors in this bathroom, especially those tiles. I'll get a close up look at that in a second. Another nice little feature are all these flowers and lily pads. That's a really nice touch. Ton of lighting in here. We got the recessed lighting in the ceiling, the illuminated mirrors and everything. A lot of counter space. Uh, okay amount of storage. I guess it goes back pretty far. There's a blow dryer right there and some towels and extra toilet paper and whatnot. I don't believe this opens. No, it does not. Bowl sink. Uh, shower has a little uh, bench for you to sit on. It's a very decent sized shower, I gotta say. And like I said before, these tiles, wow, look at that. They look really great. Love the colors. Purple's my favorite color, so anything with a bunch of purple in it, I'm gonna like it. The water pressure is good. I tried it out before I started recording the video. Fully adjustable, detachable head right there, so that's, that's good stuff. Oh, and it's got the rain shower at the top. Couple hooks right there for towels. And we have some artwork in the uh, toilet room area. There's the toilet right there. Uh, we have a towel rack. Barn door sliding right there. Barn door sliding outside of the bathroom. Okay, let's get into the main room. There it is. Where should we start first? But how about the uh, little kitchenette? So all the deluxe studios have a kitchenette. We got a refrigerator. Underneath here, paper towel roll, trash can, and stuff to wash dishes. Wait, did they not give me a trash can? Oh. I swear I was just in my friend's room and they had a trash can but I guess we'll have to make do with that. That's fine. Coffee maker, uh, coffee maker makes one cup at a time. We've got the pods, can always call for more, of course. Microwave. And opening this up, we got the utensils and plates and bowls and whatever else. Is that a toaster I see? There you go, there's a toaster, a nice bucket. Let me just uh, move back here so you can get an idea of the size of the kitchenette. Not bad. Heat up some uh, leftovers from, I don't know, Tiana's, uh, Tortilla Joe's, something like that. Ralph Brennan's Jazz Kitchen. Okay, closet area, I already have my stuff in there, sorry about that. Got some extra blankets, safe, ironing board. Uh, that looks like a collapsible laundry basket because they do have laundry on site and plenty of shelving. Is there any? There's no, there's no hooks. Did I miss a closet? I must have missed a closet. Or is this a closet? Oh, right. Okay. No, that's a closet. Oh, wow. Look at that. You got some of uh, Tiana's clothes right there. Wow. That, am I crazy or is that a lot of hangers? Okay, 
That's, uh, that's really nice. One thing before I move on, I wanted to point out the lighting in this room is fantastic. Uh, I know I have the curtains open, I know. But other than that, there's lighting everywhere. There's lighting up on top of that uh, fold down bed, the regular bed, behind the TV, behind the mirror and everything. Plenty of lighting. So this couch is attached to this fold down bed. You cannot move the couch. And in order to fold down the bed, which I'll show you in just a second, you have to remove the cushion, throw it out of the way, fold it down, boom, it's easy. There's storage in this little uh, coffee table ottoman thing here. You can store one of your kids. More storage under the bed. It's, it's hollowed out so you can, uh, well, I'm not, I mean, not completely. There's the thing in the middle, but you know, there's enough to store bags. And then over here in the uh, entertainment center area, we got the dresser. And then we have the little working area. Now I'm gonna complain about one thing. I, I don't like the half chairs. I'm someone who works from home and I find myself in hotels often and I actually do need to get work done and hurts my back to sit in these little half chairs. They look good, but you know, I think I'd rather have a chair with an actual back on it. But anyway, other than that, this area is really nice. I really enjoy that, uh, these tiles behind the TV. It gives a really nice dimension to the room. There's some nice depth in there. And we see they're themed after Tiana. So in the Cinderella room, they will have tiles specifically themed to Cinderella. There's a TV, of course, that looks like, uh, 41 inch, maybe 42 inch, something like that. This is the welcome gift for opening weekend. You're not, you're probably not going to get something like this when you check in, but you never know. Working area, we got the uh, pad of paper and pen and the phone, menu for dining, mirror, and more storage down here. Okay. This little uh, seating area. Uh, this doesn't convert or anything. It's just a little seat, which is fine. I really was expecting this to be like all cushiony. It's, it's very firm, but you're not going to be spending a lot of time on it. So whatever. We got some Tiana pictures, artwork up here. Really nice. Really like these curtains. Wow. Look at that. Great colors. I mean, there's, there's so many great colors in this room for sure. All right, here's the bed. And the highlight is of course going to be the Princess and the Frog artwork. This is rear illuminated and I wanna say this was the button. Yes, it was. So you can turn that off at night. Hit that, comes right on. These little uh, bedside tables are on each side it has a little nook for you to put your things in and it's got USB-C and USB type A charging as well as a regular plug. Uh, looking at this, you would think these are drawers or something, but they don't open at all. You can't move it at all. And okay, let's, let's get this bed down. So I assumed that this would go under the bed, but it, it did not. So you have to move that out of the way, but it seems like there's still plenty of room. So that's good. We got more Princess and the Frog artwork of little Tiana sleeping in her bed. That's really cute. So yeah, let's get another look at the room with both of the beds down. Not bad at all. Finally, I guess I'll show you my view. So this is the fourth tower in the Disneyland Hotel. And you will either be facing the beautiful Anaheim neighborhoods or of course the uh, center area of the Disneyland Hotel with the pool and everything. This is the Villas at Disneyland Hotel exclusive pool back here, the pallet pool. That's just why it's shaped by a pallet. And then right there, you can kind of see the Steamboat Willie play area. 
which I will uh, get a look at tomorrow morning when there's nobody out there. But yeah, that's the view. All right, there you go. That's your room tour of a deluxe studio villa at the Villas at Disneyland Hotel at Disneyland Resort. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the room in the comments. Let me know when you're going to stay here. I want to hear all about it. All right, thanks for watching and check out some of our other hotel tour videos and check out touringplans.com for how to book your perfect Disneyland vacation.